Welcome to another video. So, setting up a full stack backend is a massive pain. You know how it goes. You get a great idea for an app, you prompt an AI to write the code, and it gives you some beautiful React components. But then you realize you still need a database. You need authentication. You need to figure out where to host the images and how to actually deploy the thing so other people can use it. Most AI tools just leave you hanging at the most tedious part of the process. Well, today I want to show you a tool called Zoer that basically solves this entire workflow in one go. It is a full-stack AI coding agent that doesn't just write code, it builds the infrastructure. It is like having Lovable, Supabase, and Netlify all bundled into one conversational interface. And yes, it has a free tier, so you can start building right away without hitting a paywall immediately. Now, to get started, you just head over to zoer.ai and sign up. It is all browser-based, so you do not have to download any heavy IDEs or configure your local environment. Once you are in, you are greeted with a simple prompt box. But this is where it gets interesting, because we are not just asking for a snippet of code. We are asking for a complete, live application. So, let me show it to you in action. I am going to ask it to build a movie tracker app. But let's make it a bit more modern. I want users to be able to track their favorite films. But I also want a feature where they can use AI to generate custom, stylized fan art posters for those movies. I am going to type this prompt into the box. Build a full stack movie tracker app. It needs a user authentication system so people can save their own lists. I want a dashboard to see trending movies and a special feature where users can upload a movie poster and have the Nano Banana AI transform it into a 1950s noir style. Also, add a Stripe payment system so users can buy credits to generate these custom posters. Now, before I hit enter, I want to highlight a cool feature. You can actually upload up to five screenshots of UI designs you like. So if you see a beautiful dashboard on Dribbble or a clean layout on another site, you just drop those images in. Zoer will analyze those files to replicate the visual style, the layout, and the colors in your final app. This is kind of awesome because it means you do not have to spend hours tweaking CSS to make it look professional. But it doesn't just stop there. Before the build starts, we need to configure our project visibility and integrations. I'll keep this one public so the community can see it. Under the Integrations tab, I am going to toggle on Authentication. Notice how when I click Auth, it automatically enables the Zoer database. That is because the system knows you need a secure place to store user profiles and movie lists. I'm also going to enable file upload for the posters and, of course, the AI image generation using the Nano Banana model. Finally, I'll toggle on Stripe Payments. Now, watch what happens when I click Build. It doesn't just start writing a bunch of front-end files. It shows a progress bar that says Building Database First. This is a foundation-first approach. While other tools try to guess the UI first, Zoer builds the core database schema before anything else. It is creating tables for users, movies, and credits in a managed PostgreSQL environment. This ensures the app is stable and scalable from the very first second. In literal seconds, the app is generated. I can see the code panel on the left and a live preview on the right. The first thing I see in the preview is a professionally designed login page. It has Google login and traditional email password options ready to go. And the best part? Zoer handles the email verification for you. You do not have to set up SendGrid or any third-party email service. It just works out of the box. Since I am the creator, I can just click Continue with Google, and I am automatically the admin. Now, 
Let's look at the actual movie tracker. I can search for movies and add them to my list. But here is where it gets interesting. I want to test that AI poster feature. I'll go to the generation page, upload a standard poster for a movie like Inception, and type a prompt for the Nano Banana model. Transform this into a high contrast film noir style with grainy textures. I hit generate, and because Zoer already handled the integration, I don't need any API keys. It just works. The AI processes the image and gives me a custom version that I can save to my profile. It even shows the credit cost for the generation right there. But what about the business side? We added Stripe, but we need to configure it. I'll go to the integration settings and connect my Stripe sandbox keys. You just paste in your publishable key, secret key, and webhook secret. I will use the test mode for this demo. Now, I'll tell the AI, create a pricing page with three tiers, basic for $10, pro for 20, and enterprise for 50. After a successful payment on the pro tier, give the user 500 credits. Zoer actually writes the backend logic and the webhook handler for this. It is not just a fake UI button. If I go to the pricing page in the app, click subscribe, it redirects me to a real Stripe checkout page in the sandbox environment. I complete the payment, and when I get redirected back to the app, my credit balance has actually increased. This is a fully functional SayAS loop built without me touching a single line of backend code. Here is where it gets even more powerful for actual developers. You are not locked into this platform. If you go to the code panel, there is a download icon. You can export the entire project, including all the React components, the backend routes, and the API logic. You can even go to the database panel and export your entire schema as an SQL file or download your user data as a CSV. This means you truly own what you build. If you want to move to your own VPS or self-host it on Vercel and Supabase later, you have everything you need. Another feature I have to mention is the version history. If you make a change that breaks the layout or you just don't like a new feature the AI added, you can open the history and see every version with a timestamp. You can click preview to see how an old version looked without changing your current code, or hit restore to instantly roll the whole project back. It makes experimentation totally stress-free. If you are looking to drive traffic to your new app, Zoer even has a traffic engine. You can ask it to generate an SEO-optimized blog section. I'll prompt it. Create a blog for my movie tracker with three articles about the history of film noir and how AI is changing movie posters. It generates the pages with proper H1 and H2 tags that search engines love. It even adds a call to action button at the end of each post to funnel readers back into the app. Once you are happy with everything, you just hit the deploy button. With one click, your project is live on a zoer.ai subdomain. You can also connect your own custom domain in the control center. You just type in your domain, copy the DNS record Zoer gives you, and once they are verified, your app is officially a professional product. It streamlines your workflow a lot, especially if you're trying to move fast and test a product idea without getting bogged down in the infrastructure. It handles the auth, the database, the payments, and the AI integrations, so you can focus on the actual idea. It really feels like the next step in how we are going to be building software. Overall, it's pretty cool. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts too. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.